Every year, more than 100 people are killed and 1,000 people are seriously injured on our roads, causing an enormous amount of grief, suffering and loss. But road casualties are not inevitable and we all have a responsibility to prevent them. Speeding, drink and drug driving, not using restraints and fatigue continue to play an unacceptable role. But most of us try to do the right thing, respecting other road users and following the rules. Half of fatalities and about 90% of serious injuries happen to well-intentioned people, just like you and me, who have a momentary lapse of concentration and make an error of judgment, a mistake. That's all it takes. Every one of us has a responsibility to prevent crashes from happening in creating the safe system that we all deserve. With the benefits of research, technology, planning and investment, the roads that we drive on, the vehicles we travel in and the speeds that we travel at can be more forgiving, reducing the impact on our bodies, reducing the possibility of fatal and serious injury if a crash occurs. Working together and supporting the actions that can make a difference, that's the journey towards Zero Together. Safer roads start with planning and investing in a safer environment for all road users. By understanding common errors and the impact on the body if a crash occurs, we can create more forgiving roads and reduce casualties. Each year, over 400 people are killed or seriously injured in single vehicle crashes on rural roads, often the result of drivers losing control when their vehicle leaves the road to the left, overcorrect, and either roll over or hit a tree. Shoulder sealing and safety barriers are highly effective in reducing the risk of these casualties. A quarter of all serious crashes in SA occur at metropolitan intersections. The things that will make a difference are reducing the potential for drivers to make errors judging gaps in traffic when turning right or entering a major road, as well as roundabouts, increasing fully controlled right turn intersections and reducing speeds safer roads, just one of the ways we're working towards zero together. The fact is, when you reduce speeds, you save lives and prevent injuries. It's that simple. Travel speed affects crash risk and the severity of an injury when a crash occurs. The higher the speed, the greater the risk of fatal injuries for those involved. That's why speed limits that better match the function of the road need to be applied consistently and enforcement targeted to roads with high crash rates. New technology will play a role in improving safety. New point-to-point -point cameras that measure the average driving speed across distances and intelligent speed adaptation in vehicles that will help drivers stick to the speed limit. And for those who flout the law and put other road users at risk, well, there should be consequences. Safer speeds, another way we're working towards zero together. Safer vehicles. It's about helping drivers avoid crashes and protecting the human body if a crash occurs. Technology has come a long way and many innovations will become commonplace over the decade. Choosing to buy a safer vehicle now can improve the safety of all road users later. ANCAP and the used car safety rating are both designed to help us make more informed decisions about choosing safer vehicles. Electronic stability control, intelligent speed adaptation and frontal collision avoidance systems can help reduce crashes, while vehicle design can have a major bearing on reducing the impact on the body in a crash. These are just some of the ways that safer vehicles will help take us towards zero together.
it's up to us, right? Knowing the risks and taking responsibility for our actions. Age and experience, alcohol and drugs, speeding, distractions, passengers and driving at night all play a role in casualty crashes. Every 0.05 above zero blood alcohol level doubles your risk. Wearing a seatbelt doubles your chances of survival. And fatigue may be responsible for up to 30% of crashes. So we need to deter these high risk behaviours and continue with lifelong road safety education, focusing on better choices. That's the key. Safe for people. If the whole community gets it together, then we can work towards zero together. There's a new approach being taken to road safety. We're making a safer system, working together to address the number of people injured and killed on our roads every year. To think, one of the people who escaped death or injury this year could be you. Isn't it worth working towards zero together?